I'm here with Ben Saxon, Kyle Bratcher, and Ian Torchia. Uh, SMST2 is the group you guys train with yeah. um, out of Stratton Mountain School. And they're all here today at Theater Worth Park with us for the U.S. Super Tour. How are you guys feeling about, you just did the qualification round. How did it go? Uh, it was it was good. It was a beautiful day outside. The sun's starting to peek out and really excited to keep racing. Yeah, the race course is really fun. It's my first time seeing it and the trails are in great condition and the weather is nice. So yeah, we're looking forward to racing the round. Yeah, they do <laughs> Awesome. So you guys are all three from Minnesota. What does it mean to you guys to have a World Cup race here in Minnesota? Uh, it means a lot. It's going to be really cool to have a bunch of people out here, a bunch of fans. Um, I think the World Cup of racers from all over are going to be really amazed by how many people show up. And uh, also the fact that there will be a warm-up loop to actually ski on. Uh, that's something that's lacking in Europe sometimes, so I think they'll be really excited about that. Yeah, I think it's not often that they get to have races right um, in the city in such an urban environment, so I think it'll be a really cool experience for them coming to North America and, and getting to race right in the heart of, of uh, Minneapolis and yeah it should be a great atmosphere and I know all the fans are super excited to watch and um, yeah the racers feed off of that energy and I think it'll be a really good really good time. No this is a, a huge deal the last time the United States held a World Cup was in 2001 so it's been you know, almost 20 years since we had a World Cup uh, on U.S. soil, and on a personal note, having it at home is just huge. This was, Theodore Worth was where I did my first ski race ever when I was in high school, so to come back all these uh, years later and get to race uh, a World Cup here uh, is a really cool moment. That's amazing. Yeah. And yeah, you guys all being from Minnesota, now all training on the same club team, and you guys have all had experiences on the World Cup or World Championships. How do you feel that that kind of bonding experience has brought you more closer together? Uh, the shared suffering of skiing. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Misery loves company. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, there's nothing like finishing up a hard workout and... Uh, seeing your buddy next to you going just as hard and you're all chasing towards the same goal so um yeah it's really just go out there if you're if you want company find a friend and just go go for a run go for a ski and uh i guarantee you'll be closer together after that yeah yeah awesome. do you guys have anything to say to the minnesotans before the minnesota world cup you need more cowbell <laughs> Yeah, I just hope everyone comes out and watches because it's it's a really cool experience and watching it on TV is one thing, but you don't have a full appreciation for World Cup skiers until you see them in person, and and that includes us as racers. So I think it'll be a cool experience for everyone to to come watch the races in person and see just how fast those guys are. Yeah, I just everybody come, invite your friends, your cousins, whoever's around because uh, it's just going to be an amazingly fun event to be at and. Uh, who knows, if we get uh, you know, the biggest fan base of the year, maybe we'll start to get some more World Cups in the future. So yeah. it's really important that everybody shows up. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, guys, and good yeah. luck with the rest of your racing today. Thank, Thank you. you.